These were the words of China's foreign minister when asked about his country's relationship with the Vatican. He said this in his daily meeting with the press. China would like to continue its constructive dialogue with the Vatican, enhance understanding, strengthen mutual trust, and advance the process of improving relations between the two sides. The minister responded to one of the journalist's questions who pointed out that the previous day, Pope Francis had sent a telegram to China to thank them for allowing his plane to fly over the country on his way to Mongolia. The situation between China and the Vatican is delicate. In 2018, they signed an agreement on the election of bishops. Yet tensions have been ongoing, as last year the Vatican said that China violated the bilateral pact. According to America Magazine, the Chinese government reportedly prevented bishops from their country from traveling to Mongolia for Pope Francis's visit. And the Chinese government recently signed economic agreements with Nicaragua, the country that expelled the Vatican Nuncio and is economically and legally oppressing religious congregations, such as the Jesuits, specifically by expropriating their university and assets.